Hello and welcome to episode 22 of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode I want to show you a an application that is actually owned by Evernote and because of what I was saying about uh, annotating a PDF in Evernote in a previous episode, uh, there is another way that you can write uh, in Evernote and that application is called Penultimate. So if I just open up Penultimate, here we go. Penultimate is the application which as they say is owned by Evernote and it is specifically for taking notes in a written form. So when you come to um, starting a new page uh, you can actually choose whatever you want. Uh, there is an awful lot of different styles of paper that you can uh, choose. Um, in this case I'm going to use uh, graph paper and along the top you've got various options here and I, I don't want to do a full review of penultimate because that's not the purpose of this exercise. I just want to show you an alternative way of getting um, written notes on a tablet directly into Evernote. Now when you download Penultimate, which is a free application by the way, um, what you do is you can log in, um, log in with your Evernote account. That will then create its own workbook, notebook, uh, called Penultimate and keep all your notes in there. So when you process your Evernote at the end of the week, um, or whenever you do process, you can actually pick and choose where you put the note. Um, like with uh, most things, you can choose the size of your stylus, you've got a highlighter, the colour that you want to use for your highlighter, and you've got various other, the, the eraser tool and the cut tool. So I've chosen this nice green colour for writing. And as you can see, when you write on the um, in Penultimate, it's actually a much smoother um, experience than what you had in the Evernote application itself. Um, and I actually quite like writing in this. Um, it's um, it's a nice nice way of writing, and I can actually I can highlight that. And again, the pencil uses the full thickness of the of the um, of the highlighter tool, and I can create all sorts of like little notes. These can be added later. Um, and I'm writing these twice. And be added later and you know there's all sorts of like little things that you can do in here um, so I can add paper I can just the only thing you can't do as far as I can tell is like add yeah I can't add um, uh, images or anything but for pure writing experience particularly in Evernote then this is a way that you can actually use so uh, keep in mind this is actually owned by Evernote. I did check before I did this video to see when it was last updated and Evernote updated this in June of this year. So it looks like uh, Evernote are continuing uh, developing this application. Uh, it's not one of those apps that may suddenly uh, have the plug pulled on it. And uh, I say for students who are keeping notes during lectures, this is a very, very good way of doing it, particularly as it will automatically upload to your Evernote account. Now, I must point out that I don't actually use Penultimate on a daily basis. Uh, most of my notes, actually, for example, I actually use Notability only because I find Notability, because Notability syncs on its own and it's a dedicated app. I can create the PDF file for my classes, I can then drag and drop it into my Notability on my Mac and then it synchronizes using iCloud to my iPad. But that is just my own personal preference. But for those of you who want the full Evernote experience, then I think you'll find that Evernote and Evernote's penultimate is a very, very good way of keeping hold of your written notes as opposed to your typed notes um, in directly into your Evernote account. Okay, I know this is a short video, but thank you very much for watching the episode. Uh, if you have any other experiences with Penultimate or you'd like me to cover another application that links directly with Evernote, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to cover that for you. So just once again, this application is called Penultimate. Um, it is owned by Evernote, so the synchronization between 
penultimate and Evernote is excellent. And for that pure writing experience, I really think this is a very, very good application. So thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next episode.